screening and genetic testing in melanoma. Melanoma, like all cancers, is caused by changes in genes. Understanding the genetic changes that lead to melanoma can help with finding the best treatment for each patient. Melanoma occurs most often in the skin. Less often, it can occur in the eye or elsewhere, such as the mouth or throat. This video focuses on genetic changes that lead to melanoma in the skin. Cancer occurs when cells in the body start to grow and divide uncontrollably. It starts with a change in a single gene within a cell. Genes are made of DNA, the basic genetic material of life. Genes can change in two ways. First, a change or mutation can occur in the sequence of DNA building blocks that make up a gene. Mutations are common. Most of them don't cause cancer. The body corrects most mutations. Usually, a single mutation will not cause cancer. Cancer usually occurs due to a buildup of mutations over many years. Most mutations are caused by damage to genes that happens during a person's life. These are the most common cause of cancer. In rare cases, mutations are passed from a parent to a child. These mutations can cause cancer to run in families. The second way genes can change is that a gene's functioning changes without changing the sequence of DNA building blocks. This type of change may cause the gene to be underactivated, overactivated, or turned off, or all or part of the gene may be missing. Some genes play a special role in cancer. Oncogenes promote cancer by helping cells stay alive, grow, and divide. They are often found at abnormally high levels in tumor cells. Tumor suppressor genes keep cancer from developing by controlling cell growth, helping the body get rid of abnormal cells, and fixing mistakes in DNA. Cancer can start to grow when genetic changes occur that keep oncogenes turned on or turn off tumor suppressor genes. Melanoma in the skin starts when certain skin cells change and start to grow and divide uncontrollably. Overexposure to ultraviolet or UV rays is the most common cause of genetic changes that lead to melanoma in the skin. Most UV rays come from sunlight. They may also come from tanning beds. Tanned skin is a sign of damage to skin cells. UV rays can damage the genes in skin cells. These changes may occur over many years before they turn into melanoma. People who have many spots or moles on their skin are at higher risk for melanoma. The most common mutation in non-inherited melanoma is an oncogene called BRAF. Around half of all people diagnosed with melanoma have a BRAF mutation. However, not all moles with BRAF mutations will become melanoma. Another common mutation is in an oncogene called NRAS. About one in five people diagnosed with melanoma has an NRAS mutation. Several other genetic mutations may also be found in people with melanoma. Melanoma treatment has the best chance of success when the disease is diagnosed at a very early stage. A pigmented lesion assay, or PLA adhesion patch test, is now available that can diagnose very early stage melanoma genes in the skin. It does this in two ways. It looks for mutations in a gene called TERT, and it measures the levels of two genes called LINK and PREM that are found in melanoma, but not in normal skin. In about one in 10 cases, Melanoma occurs in multiple members of the same family. People with inherited melanoma often have changes in a tumor suppressor gene called CDKN2A. About 4 in 10 families affected by inherited melanoma have mutations in this gene. People with this mutation are more likely to be diagnosed with melanoma, often at an early age. They should have regular skin exams to detect melanoma as early as possible. A doctor may recommend genetic testing to determine your risk for melanoma if you have had three or more melanomas that have grown deeper into the skin, including one that was diagnosed before age 45. You have three or more close relatives who have had melanoma or cancer of the pancreas, or you have certain unusual-looking moles. Talk with your doctor about whether genetic testing to determine your risk for melanoma is right for you.